Quail usually lay about one egg a day. So this one I would say has been going for eight days so far. Hi, my name is Jordan Barone. I'm a graduate student through Mississippi State University doing a joint collaboration here at the Jones Center. Today we're gonna to be starting off with some nest checks. We've got about 11 birds sitting on a nest right now, so we'll use the Omni on the top of the truck just to kind of go around and get some locations. After we do nest checks, we will shift over to doing activity checks, which is pretty much the same thing. We're just hoping to, to pick up a couple more nests as we're going around. My project focuses on the non-breeding season resource selection of northern bobwhite cubbies, specifically in relation to submental feeding practice. We know that they love supplemental feeding, but we don't know how weather or days since feeding or a couple other different biotic and abiotic factors influences that use. So we're trying to get at that question of how much they use it through time via very intensive telemetry. Most studies in the winter, they focus on three to four locations per cubby per week. I'm getting that a day for six days a week. So the idea is that we're gonna be able to hopefully, if there is a change, pick up on some more fine scale information that we may have been missing in the past. So what we do when we actually have a suspected nest is we'll kind of get about two to three meters away. The bird will be sitting on the nest. She's not gonna flush or anything like that. And we can kind of use the tools at hand, including the Yagi, to reach out and identify where that bird may be. And then once we get a little more honed in, we'll place pieces of pink flagging away from the nest. And then we'll come back in the afternoon, see if we can find the actual nest. So when I get in here, I like to start from a relatively bare area and slowly start to move that vegetation, making sure that I'm not gonna break any eggs or disturb the nest. And then if I get lucky, I can kind of identify that nest here. It's a very intricate design of a nest woven with pine needles or grasses or anything like that where there's an overhead cover and then it's like a whole nest bowl underneath and if she's incubating we caught her off today she'll be back um, and she will finish the job here for an about another 23 days until these chicks hatch. 